what's going on guys we're back again another massive day we got ahead guys so this one today is going to be a huge huge back day so we're going to do a few sets of chin-ups to failure then we'll do weighted chin-ups then we'll do rows pretty simple everything to failure today because i've been feeling good guys i mean feel absolutely beast mode so yesterday i did a huge chest day i just did like 10 sets of 10 bench press or five sets of 10 bench press and then we did arms today we'll do some arms as well mostly forearms wrists and then that's pretty much it guys we're not going to go too much longer on the on the you know time under tension we'll just do it as quick as we can you know i'm filming here with my regular phone i'm not filming with any sort of big massive camera guys because i just couldn't be bothered honestly and also guys the quality is just as good on this camera you guys can hear me like it's not that bad i'm not even using a microphone on the camera so it's pretty chill but yeah guys big day today i'm losing weight like crazy i'm like 106 kilos guys which is like 235 i'm gonna try to get down to about 230 like i said and then probably bulk back up to 250 you know what i mean i don't like being skinny or lean or anything like that I, you know i don't mind i want to have a bit of size guys with you know veins you know abs popping out so this one should be crazy guys roll the tape let's get it All right, what's good, guys? Just finished the back workout. Good workout, you know. Only did probably about, I want to say, 40 reps for chin-ups. I didn't really add weight to them because I felt like it was enough just to do, you know, six sets of five, I think, something like that. Whatever it was to get 40 chin-ups. Then moved over, did two sets of rows. You know, for me, rowing is good. You know, I try and get as much rowing as possible. And then I was absolutely blasted by the end of that because I was done. So I did... Hanging leg raises, guys. You know, I think hanging leg raises, for those who don't do hanging leg raises, they're like the best exercise for abs. I never used to do them. My abs are really popping now. They're really coming too. And my stomach is flat as hell with, you know, with the, with the squares, guys, with the abs. So I never really used to, I used to have crazy abs when I was ripped, when I was kind of skinny, but now I'm starting to build up the strength again in them. And yeah, it's crazy, guys, uh, getting those coming in. So then I did arms i just did some curls you know just did some back arms you know some triceps <laughs> and like that shit burned guys so i did arms yesterday as well i did them heavy with my chest day heavy but today i just got the pump guys you know when you couple the heavy weight with the pump you get more size you can pack on more size quicker in my personal opinion i've been doing that for a long time and i've been packing on size a lot quicker Obviously, some body parts you can't really, you know, do feeder workouts for, which is the pump workouts. You know, you can't really do that for legs. You know, you somewhat can. You can do air squats. But for the most part, just running and stuff kind of gets that pump in them. So don't have to do it too much. But definitely for your upper body, you can do like, you know, push-ups and stuff for the feeder workouts. And that kind of helps a lot. So that was the workout today, guys. I'm absolutely beat, man. Like, for the last few weeks... I took off like, uh, you know, a few weeks there, like one week or two weeks. And I was kind of still doing a little bit in between trying to get my chest back to recover. My chest is fully recovered now, but I'm just so beat up, guys, from the workouts because I tend to go extra hard. Try not to have too much caffeine, like minimum or maximum half a half a monster for the day, guys. Anything more than that, I mean, you're kind of just like getting your heart rate up for no reason. Drinking a ton of water at the minute, guys. Trying to get my water insanely high at least four liters a day guys and yeah that's pretty much the workout then straight away got post-workout shake guys i always try and get a post-workout shake like i always say you know to me if you don't get a first workout post-workout shake it's fine but you aren't you know leaving gains on the table because you know you don't have to get a shake straight away <laughs> you know like rich piano says oh like in the gym you know you know you don't have to do that guys but i definitely would within an hour get something after working out. I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Getting a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs after your workout is insanely beneficial. There's hundreds of studies to show that. So then get your red meat, get your milk, whatever else, guys, your eggs, you know, eggs and red meat. Best sources of protein, guys. Get as much as you can of those in, especially the red meat. And, you know, you're good to go, guys. 
So, you know, I know the last couple of videos did kind of okay. It wasn't getting a ton of views. So, you know, I want to give some kind of motivation at the end of these videos, guys. You know, not just talking about the workouts and stuff. You know, I feel like people, you know, they kind of neglect that aspect of like, you know, what they're, you know, looking to achieve. I watch a lot of podcasts, Irish podcasts, talking about what they're looking to achieve, the level that they should be at. And truly, guys, when you think about it, one of the main reasons why people don't achieve their goals is because they're not hanging around people that believe in them, guys. You know, most people that they talk to them, their friends will say, oh, that guy, he's trying to become that. Like, and you would say it in a sarcastic way or someone will say some cheeky comment. Guys, if you ever hear that and it's not genuinely like a joke or if you feel like it's malicious in any way, just stop hanging out with those people. They're completely useless people, guys. They will never help you benefit in your goals. They're just, you know, going to do the same thing the rest of their lives. They don't really have any aspirations to be great or anything like that, like you do. The people watching these videos have aspirations to become great. And I know that because that's the image that I'm trying to portray, guys. I want to try and do something great on the YouTube, great on the fitness, you know. And, and truly, guys, that's kind of just the way it is going to be for always and ever. You know what I mean? The haters are going to stay down here and we're going to stay up here, guys. You know what I mean? Far, far away, guys. Try and distance yourself. You don't have to cut people off, but definitely, you know hanging around people that believe in your work is definitely going to be one of the best things to do because just for motivation every single day because truly you know listening to people like you don't wake up and immediately start thinking about the haters and stuff you think oh i'm gonna prove this guy wrong that doesn't really it doesn't really stick with you guys that may stick with you for a, an evening or a morning or a week but after a month guys you know the motivation of trying to prove people wrong that's going to kind of eventually leave man that's you're not gonna be able to keep that for any long period of time so just literally trying to get around people that are better and trying to get around people that are like-minded like you is kind of going to be more of a better sort of system a uh, better program to be doing that guys and my programs help with that you know what i mean i show you exactly how to get jacked you know how to get lean how to start a business all these different types of things so that's what my program is doing guys for people you know i'm not trying to like sell you some sort of bs program that's really expensive man that's I feel like that's just unethical, guys. I feel like the people that do that, truly, truly bad things happen to them because they're being unethical. You know, it may not be illegal to do that, but it is unethical and the universe is watching, like I said in the last video, and it'll come back around and you don't want that universe to come back around, guys, because it will not be a good, it will not be a pretty sight when it comes back around. So, but yeah, guys, hope that gives some motivation to people, hang around like-minded people. Oh, and one other thing, guys, I was watching some TikToker. I don't really go on TikTok, but I went on TikTok recently just to like see who I could connect with. I was just, you know, talking to different people in the space of just, you know, creators and stuff like that. I didn't really find anybody like, I don't like TikTok as a system so much. I like to be able to talk a lot, you know, without any like jump cuts because that really truly shows who's able to talk well and who's not able to talk well because the people that are able to talk well, they can talk on YouTube, guys. If you can't talk well, you go on TikTok, obviously, because the people that are on YouTube make a ton of money and the people that are on TikTok don't make anything, you know? So I don't know, I guess how that works, but Anyway, guys, and I saw this girl, man, and she was basically talking about whether I should hang around these friends anymore. And she was talking about how she used to be able to text them. And then now her friends have basically, you know, stopped texting her or they text her two or three days later or this kind of thing. Guys, whether you're in a relationship with a man or a woman or if it's friends, if they're taking two days to text you, <laughs> they're not your friend, guys. You know, if they're a high value person, they got a big job in, in the city, you know, they got a big ass job, you know one day max guys even because everyone's on their phone guys no matter what anyway like people are on their phone at work as well but i know some of my friends are very very high value they earn hundreds of thousands of, you know pounds and dollars a year so when i text them it'll probably be the evening time but by the time they get back to me because they're actually really high value they're on their grind they're working really hard okay you know but if a guy is just not texting you back within two or three days and you know they're just you know whatever guys not high value and you guys know what i mean by high value you know they have a lot of abundance of time it's nothing to do with money or it's nothing to do with how many women you get it's the amount of time that you have spare in your life you know or you know kind of you know because time is the most valuable asset you know how much time they have you know whether they take super long to get back to you what, should you hang out with that person <laughs> absolutely not guys you know what i mean just stop texting that person they don't want to be friends with you anymore or if they make plans without you and say, oh, I was just about to text you. Oh, yeah, man, like, come on, let's go into town. Or, you know, you're invited. Or, like, let's say you hear about a party that happened last week. And they say, oh, man, I knew you'd be busy, bro. I knew you, you didn't like, you know, pool parties. Like, bro, who told you I didn't like pool parties? 
Who told you I didn't like, you know, chicks in bikinis and shit? <laughs> like hot women going around the place. You know what I mean? Who told you I didn't like that? Because I didn't tell you I didn't like that. So if they're, if they're not inviting you to events and to parties and to functions, guys, then they're not your friend. And, you know, in Ireland, guys, we're actually quite big on this. Like, we don't really invite people. We're very click mindset in this country. Like, I met some guy. He was, like, in the... I think he was in the U.S. Marines or something or U.S. Air Force uh, a few weeks ago on a night out in uh, Galway. And I was, telling, I was just talking to him. I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. He, like, trains, like, pilots that get, like, downed from, like, aircraft or whatever. You know, he's like a firefighter or like a, he's like in the army doing something like uh, helps train pilots, like Bear Grylls type stuff. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I got talking to him for like 10, 20 minutes, got a drink together. And then I was like, oh, come hang out with us, man. Like, this is just a random guy I invited to hang out with us. And I do that always because I always say, hey, come hang out with us. I don't ever like, unless, you know, the guy is like a freaking weird guy that, I, you know, like there's some people like that. Then, you know, obviously, you know, you know, there's, there's limits to it too, guys. You can't invite everybody. I'm saying... You know, if the guy seems cool or the girl seems cool, tell invite them to come hang out, guys. You know, I don't understand why people don't do that here. You know, we need to change that in Ireland, guys. You know, it's too clicky, guys. It's too clicky. It's like, I think they're afraid that they're going to steal their girlfriend or something or they're going to steal their boyfriend or something. So, there's something weird going on there, guys, where, like, people can't invite people to functions. Like, I love when friends and neighbors and stuff invite me to different places. I love that, guys. I'm like, oh, that's sick. Like, and I would do the same thing, you know, if, if you know, I knew there was something going on. So like, you know, or you meet them in person and say, come hang out. Like, you know, it's really friendly. It's really great. It makes you feel good inside, guys. And I think a lot of the people that you hang out with don't want to do that. And guys, if they're like that, man, if they're this clickish, oh, no, don't invite that person. Don't invite that. Dude, also stop hanging out with those people. Those people are closed minded, like just from the get go, guys. If they don't even want to talk to other people, you know, <laughs> they're closed minded from the get go. So hope you guys enjoy this, man. You know, get the gains going, train arms every day like myself. But no, guys, if you're not the certain weight that you are, like I always say, do not train arms every day, you know, or give arms their own day. If you are a certain weight, if you've been doing compound movements for years, if you have a solid foundation of chest, shoulders, back and legs, then train arms, give them their separate day. If not, guys, keep training your compound movements. Hope you guys got some motivation as well about friendships and loyalty, especially. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one, man.